Hello, babe cheeks. It's babe cheeks. <laughs> anyway, um, great through technology. Okay, so what you're going to do is this strategy is actually called a teacup. And it's something that a lot of us use when we first started um, trading in IM. And um, somebody brought it to my attention last week and brought it back from the past. So I was like, wow, I forgot about that. So did a quick little diagram. And the first thing that you want to look for, first and foremost, you want to be on the hour time frame. This only works on the hour time frame. Okay. So first thing you want to look for is your bullish and your bearish candle. Okay, once you see that, you want to see um, a third candle after these two. You want to see a third one that is a lower low or a lower high. I mean, lower low or higher low. Um, don't worry about higher low because nine times out of ten, it's going to be a lower low. Okay, so the two candles that you want to see bullish and bearish. Then you want to see your candle, which is a lower low or a lower high. And like I said, 90% 90, 90 of the time, it's going to be a lower uh, a lower low. All right. So once you see those three candles, you're going to put a line right here. Okay. And that horizontal line that you place right there is actually going to be your sell limit. That's the number that's going to be your sell limit. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that's going to be your sell limit. So you will be activated in the trade once it actually hits again. Okay. So you got it in. The, look for your bullish and bearish candle right here. Here's a teacup right here. It actually comes up and hits again. And you actually traded this for the sell. Okay. Now, remember, our time frame, you can get 20 to 25 pips. Four hour time frame, 40 to 50 pips. Daily, 60 to 75. Okay. Now, sometimes it does go more than that. Your stop loss, if you want to set one, is 30 pips above your entry. So if this was your sell limit, then you would actually go 30 pips above this. All right. Now let's look at it on a real chart. Before we do that, I want to show you how you had a, another teacup form um, while this was going on. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, there was another teacup that formed while this one was actually selling. So you started right here and you went down and it hit and then you started trading. Okay. And then this one formed. Okay. Bullish, bearish candle. You actually put a line right there and it actually came, took a while, and then sell them activated right there, and then you trade it down for the for the sell. Actually, that one hasn't hit yet. Um I, I can't tell how many pips that was, because of course this is a diagram. So let's look at it on a live chart, like I said. Alright. Uh let's take this off. All right. Actually, this would have been one if this had come up and hit. So let's look at a regular pair. Let's look at my favorite pair, GU. Uh, and let's look for the bullish and bearish candle. And maybe it came up and hit. That would have came up and hit, and you could have traded that. However, if you set your stop loss, let's see, 
we have we're gonna need to zoom in a little bit. Alright, so if we had traded this and we saw this bullish and bearish candle right here, this actually would have hit, but depending on where you had your stop loss hit, it would have gone for the sell, but depending on where you had your stop loss hit, uh, it may have hit your stop loss, but let's put it there and see. So you set your stop loss 30 pips up from the entry from your sell limit. Let's see if it hit it. No, it wouldn't have. So yeah, that would have been a nice little sell right there. So let's see. Uh, if you found this bullish and bearish candle right here, this is what that means by lower lower high. It means it's lower, but it's higher than this previous candle. But I like to really find lower lows. Okay, but this is a lower high. Um, but you would have put your line right here. And it would have come up and it would have hit right here. And then you would have had a little bit of drawdown once you were in it. And then you would have rolled this down for the sell. So let's see how many pips that went. This is the, oh, no wonder. I'm on a, I'm on a 15 minute. Let's go on an hour. Ooh, lots of teacups in here. <laughs> As I said, once you see them, you're, you're not going. I probably actually got it in this one because I had it marked up. Okay, let's take that away. And let's look at this. This bullish and bearish candle right here. Let's take my drawings away. You had a bullish and a bearish candle right here. And then you had a lower low. Okay. So you would have taken a line and you actually would have put it right here. Right here. And then once this teacup formed and it actually hit your sell limit, you actually brought that down for the sell. Then this one <laughs> actually formed and came up. And then hit that again for another sell limit and came back down. So let's see how many would have had, how many pips is, let's see the six pips. Okay. And you would have had, like I said, another one would have formed bullish bearish, lower low. This so is a lower high. And then you would have taken that. And you would have rolled that down. Sixty-one pips. So like I said, hour um is twenty twenty-five pips. Hour is twenty twenty-five pips, four hour, forty, fifty, and daily sixty seventy five. Okay, I love you. I didn't even mean for it to take that long, but bye.